All right, so welcome back. There's um, this thing in the sky called the sun. It's a bit bright. I apologise if you can see any brightness. It's I can't do anything about it. I've got blinds up. It's it's just there. But either way, today we're talking about a man who I actively dislike. Now, I don't think I'm a very nasty person. I think I'm quite a nice person, and I don't actively dislike people without good reason. But this man, this man called James Charles, he irritates me in a way that nobody else does. So we're going to start with this DM. James Charles has sent a DM to somebody. It's not a very nice one. In fact, it's a very, very bad one. Don't know how old it is. Might be four years old, might be three years old. But it's just come out like today or yesterday, so we're going to talk about it. And just for prior warning, if anyone has got anyone in their family that is disabled, then this might become incredibly difficult to read and watch. So just going to put that out there before we start. Another, another thing we're going to throw out there before we start, the word allegedly. I know James Charles likes to um, threaten people with lawsuits and other, other things like that, so we're going we're gonna to throw allegedly out there just before he decides to start throwing his money about to try and stop all drama channels or comedy channels from saying anything ever. Despite apparently agreeing with free speech, but we'll move on to that later. Right, so I've got the DM here. It is, uh, it's on my phone. Don't know whether I can show it yet. No idea. I'll try rendering a video with the, with the DM shown, and I'll try rendering it without the the one shown, and we'll see if that makes any difference, if you know what I mean. But either way, I'll explain it without mentioning the words that I can't mention. Right, so the DM is from James Dickinson. If you've no idea, I've actually researched this. James Charles Dickinson, that's his, that's his real name apparently. No idea why it's James Charles on his like YouTube and it's James Dickinson on his Facebook. Either way, this, this could be fake. We'll, we'll, we'll put that out there as well. This could be fake. There's a lot of fake DMs and stuff flying about, but um, a lot of people seem to think it's pretty real, even the people that do Photoshop, so... And did I tell you that all these fans came up to me for a pic? There was literally the guy I've ever seen, like Justin Bieber. He wanted a pic with me, but some kid in a wheelchair came up before him and could barely talk and took forever. The whole time he was talking, I was just like, hurry up, spit it out. He could barely talk, it was annoying. Like, shut up, my future husband is behind you. Like, go back to the Special Olympics. Now, quite a few people in the comments and other things, people commenting on this DM have said, why would, why would you fake that? That's a, a, very, a very strange thing to fake. If you were going to fake or make something about James Charles, don't think he'd be talking about disabled people. Now, one thing that a lot of people have been saying that it might be real, this DM, is that where it says Olympics, there's a little arrow at the bottom. Apparently, that is a, a thing that people forget to put when they're faking these DMs. So... No idea, it's just a very strange thing to say. Just imagine being in a position where you've got all these fans, all these people are coming up to see you. You've got someone who was in a wheelchair who was disabled who's come to see you, and you haven't got the time of day to speak to them. Like a normal human being. Not really here for that. And to think that you're gonna you're gonna say this to someone, you're gonna message someone on Facebook and say this, so they've got evidence, and you're gonna think that that's never gonna get out. You might be 19, you might be 20. You are struggling with brain capacity. I just read today on Facebook that starfishes have apparently not got a brain. We can we can add big James Charles to that list as well, apparently. I just don't understand what the problem is. Like, okay, this person was maybe taking a Why does that matter? Why? It's, it's not the end of the world. Someone really, really likes you, who is basically putting money in your pocket. They, their fans are the ones who basically pay you. If they, don't, if they don't watch your videos, if they don't buy your merch, if they don't go to your tour, which was a great success, or wait, it never happened, then you don't get paid and you are doing just a normal job. So when someone comes up to you and wants to see you, that should be a really nice thing. That should be, should be able to give something back to them and say, nice to meet you, yada yada yada, have a little chat, have a little talk. Not talk about them and tell them to go. That's just horrendous. But James Charles and drama, always together, never apart, always together. So we're moving on to this DM where it appears, don't know if it's real, we're not going to say it's real, we're not going to say it's fake, it's just a DM. But the story goes as so. We had two hours to get on a ride. When we were about to get on, Sister James decides to shut it down and have the whole ride to himself. And we've got some pictures there as well. It um, it's, looks like James Charles. Now in this situation, we've, we've only got this, we've only got this DM. No idea what the whole context is, no idea what the background to this is, but it, it it sounds like James Charles. It sounds like someone who is incredibly entitled and thinks that the world revolves around them. <laughs> you can probably tell I don't really like him at this point. It's the most James Charles thing ever, although I will say it in, in, in response. I can see 
more than just him there. Maybe it's his friend, but there's also somebody sat behind. Maybe he's turning around talking to them. Don't know, maybe he shut the ride down to get like all of his friends on. I'm, I'm guessing that's where we're going. Now obviously this just might not be real. It could be someone that doesn't like James Charles. Just saying, he, he pushed in, not very, very naughty. He, that that's, that could have happened in this situation. It could just be someone just who doesn't like him and just trying to make some a, a bit, bit of a fuss about nothing. But either way, it's just another another one on the pile. It's, it's quite a large pile at this point. It's it's getting higher and higher every day. I used to record on on a um, on that books basically. I used to put books one on top of the other, so it was like at face level. If I had a book on the top for every time James Charles had done something wrong or was involved in some sort of drama, you'd now be looking at the ceiling. He just can't stop. Which is now why we're moving on to the part where he says that he thinks all drama channels, you can call me a drama channel if you want, a commentary channel, whatever, it's basically the same thing. All drama channels should be deleted. And then, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, he, um, he follows up that wild statement with another statement that goes on the lines of, but I believe in free speech. <laughs> right, James, right. You believe in free speech, but you think that Channels where people speak their mind should be deleted. Just have to get the clown mask. <laughs> surely, surely someone, or just, just him, can see the irony in, in that statement. It's just, it doesn't really make sense, James. While we're on the topic of this, James Charles wouldn't be where he is without drama channels. His career has been built so much on the back of drama channels. There's a girl on YouTube called Angelica Orles. You probably already watch her. Got like 350k. She went through every single, or most of the... The, uh, the drama James Charles has been through is like 15 or 16 in the last video, so I'll leave the link to that in the description if you want to go and watch that, because, um, I mean, it's not been on YouTube that long, has it? It's been like, probably like two and a half years, three years, and we're well into double figures. Someone that is so opinionated, and someone that um, says what they like, how can you possibly say that you think all drama channels should be deleted? Especially if we, that is compounded by the fact that you know when there was all this James Charles tatty drama and Jeffree Star, he was allegedly in the DMs of all the big like drama channel, comments channels like Teesville, and saying like, giving his side of the, the argument basically, so that it was damage control. We'll, <laughs> we're, not, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna let this get out of hand. We're gonna message them all. Be, oh, be best friends. Ooh, best friends with James Charles on the commentary drama channels. That's, that's a great idea. It, it would be if you just weren't then saying that they should all be deleted around two months after you've got what you wanted from them. Just don't like him. Now, I've got nothing against his makeup. I don't watch his channel. I've no idea if it's good. I've no idea if it's bad. It's probably good to get to the stage he's got to. Probably very, very good. Just talking about him as a person, he's um, not my cup of tea. Tea drama? He's a... I I'm worse on this platform, aren't I? Now, if you don't know, there's a, a CEO of YouTube called Susan. We're not going to pronounce her second name because I will definitely get it wrong. Well, she's a CEO. She makes all the decisions or she's the head of the decisions. Well, her and James Charles are very, very good friends. Now, after the whole Tatty and Jeffree Star drama where James Charles lost, I don't know, a lot of, lot of subscribers. Don't know how many million it were. He got them all back. So... End of the day, it's, it's all well and good now. Either way, it's just very, very coincidental that um, coming out in the next few months, there's these guidelines or some new rules or Susan's put in place. Basically to stop creators talking about other creators in a bad way, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. We, 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 can, we can all get behind that. We don't want people to be saying terribly bad things about people. If we're just, um, if we're just being honest, and pulling people up for their actions because that is what comedy channels and drama channels do. When some big makeup artist or big, I don't know, just some big famous person does something wrong, they haven't got many people in their life who are going to say, do you know what, shouldn't do that, which is, is where we come in. If you're going to try and stop all them, um, firstly, good luck. Secondly, I'm not really sure whether that's even possible. Are we going to start just like, Stopping people saying anything on Twitter and stopping people saying anything on Instagram. Are we just going to stop people talking? That's probably what James Charles would want. Just, um, just uh, well, if it's about him, if it's about anybody else, then fire it away. It's, it's all well and good because he's apparently in the comments of other drama channels, other comment channels, saying that he enjoyed a video or something along those lines. So that's just event uh, again, event event again. Very very strange. No, I've never met James Charles. Hope I never do. Don't want to. Don't care how many subscribers he's got. Don't like him. 
really, really not a massive fan. But either way, I hope you've enjoyed. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it is at WadyTC, at WadyTC. Don't know why I'm doing this, but it, that's what it is. But I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time.